Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of the mini Grave Digger monster truck build. In this episode, we're going to build more of the chassis. Okay boys, where can people find us on Facebook and Instagram? Moto Mule! Look at Moto Mule! I've gotten pretty good at taking the body on and off of this uh, Grave Digger power wheels, but this is the last time I'm removing it, and this time I uh, gutted all the wiring and everything else, so there's no turning back now. I've got the body up on the new Grave Digger chassis, and you can see that I've uh, kind of separated the hood and windshield from the rest of the body. Didn't cut anything yet, it just unbolts. I'm really leaning towards stretching the body something like this. Uh, that way when I add the shocks, at least the ends of them will be hidden up underneath the uh, plastic body itself. I won't have shocks sticking out the front and rear of the body. I think that would look kind of silly. And you know, as a side bonus, uh, there would be a tiny chance that I might be able to stuff my groceries into this thing. The first step to getting some more done on the chassis of this little monster truck is to make some motor mounts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll know the top of the engine height and kind of where I can start building the rest of the chassis. I've got the first motor mount drawn up and so I'm going to go ahead and cut those out on the homemade CNC plasma table. I got the front lower motor mounts tacked in there. So now we can maybe just uh, make some that should be a little simpler even for the lower rear. Okay, the engine has some honest to goodness mounts on it. One in the back and one in the front. So uh, now we know where the engine's gonna sit and we can get to work on the rest of the chassis. <laughs> Thank you. 
As I've mentioned before, it's always fun to bring the frame table into the shop. It usually means something exciting is about to happen. No, it's not going to be a boat. Come on.
Check it out. We've got the main part of the chassis kind of mocked up here. Got some uh, magnets and clamps holding it together. We'll get it tacked up and, and then uh, kind of place it over on the uh, lower part of the chassis there. So this is the uh, main section, kind of the bathtub that'll hold the driver. All right, let's get it all tacked up. All right, it is all tacked up. Now let's see if we can't uh, do a little trimming of these tubes over here and see if we can't get that bathtub tacked on top of this beginnings of the chassis over here. Got the chassis rolled back into the middle of the shop. I have the bottom of it resting on some blocks and uh, this position represents what I intend for the suspension to be bottomed out uh, or fully compressed. So this will be the closest that the tires will come to the chassis above it. So uh, in this position, I can trim those upright tubes and uh, set the uh, bathtub section of the chassis up on top of there and uh, get it as close to the tires as need be. All right, let's get it done. I trimmed several inches off of that existing tube that was coming up where the uh, engine is mounted. I think I trimmed seven or eight inches off of that and got this new section of the chassis as low as I possibly could. I wish that I could say it was intentional that this part of the chassis turned out a little bit like a coffin. I mean, it is the grave digger and all, but uh, really that was not on purpose. I narrowed the nose and the tail to make mounting the shocks easier and you know, it's down in its full compressed position right now. And with the wheels turned all the way, I just wanted to make sure that the tires didn't hit the frame. So the fact that it kind of looks like a coffin, honestly, is just an accident. Hey, Lyle. What? What are you doing? Driving this. What is that thing? My monster truck. Monster truck? Yeah. Well. I did a thing, and I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch the body. Looks like, oh, about 12 inches or so. I'll just have to make a, a panel to fill between the front of the door and the back of the windshield there. But uh, that fits pretty darn good, I'd say. Okay, let's build a roll cage.
So you're saying there's a chance. Well, Jace, what do you think of this thing? It's awesome. <laughs> yeah? Yes. You think your little brother's gonna like it? Yes. <laughs> Are you gonna steal it from him every once in a while and drive it? Yes. <laughs> What's the coolest thing about it? That it has big tires and we can and he can go over rocks and crush stuff. Yeah. Are you gonna try to crush things? Yes. <laughs> well, it's uh, definitely tall at uh, ride height, which is about where it's sitting right now. It's, uh, oh, six feet tall. <laughs> uh, holds true to the uh, name Monster Truck, that's for sure. <laughs>